Yes. Um, and now I just messed it up. As you all know, um, Mr. Ricketts will go into this further in his report. We did have um, our announcement, Express Scripts announcement, held on April 18th at the Georgia Department of Labor. So just wanted to show you a few of our way, the ways that we um, promoted this announcement and um, told the whole entire world that we had 125 jobs from a Fortune 500 company coming to Valdosta through a home based call center. So this is um, our Facebook page with a link to the press release written up um, that's hosted on our website. Again, um, we have our press release link from the website and the article from the Valdosta Daily Times posted on our LinkedIn company page. Again, the coverage from Valdosta Daily Times on their um, digital platform website. Valdosta CEO picks us up with our press release um, in announcing and spreading the word about um, the Express Scripts announcement. So I wanted to share the coverage um, of the announcement with you guys and Mr. Ricketts will speak further into the project um, details as, as those closed and as we continue work. Oh, and WALP. Um, Lydia Jen Jennings from the um, Valdosta Bureau um, called us the day after and we went out and met her and did a story as well. Um, last week I was um, attending the Georgia Economic Developers Association Spring Workshop and we all know that we were um, awarded the grad certified Georgia Ready for Accelerating Development um, Business Parks in August, August, September when we opened those. Um, this, at the Spring Workshop we were recognized again in front of our peers throughout the state, a group of 300. Again, we have three business parks that are grad certified. That made a huge statement in front of the whole entire state of Georgia. I was getting high fives as I was walking up to the stage, cat calls, they all were all excited. But that makes a statement because they know that our peers know the investment that we made in this process. And so they all know that Valdosta's in the game to play and um, they better watch out. So this is um, our certificates we received from Gretchen Corbin who attended our um, grand opening and Mr. Charlie Gatlin with the Georgia Allies program. Um, I just wanted to go over and show you some stats from our new website since it has been um, live since January. So we have about four months we can go back and look at and um, we can use this data in lots of ways um, as we look at it. And I gave you all a hard copy and a definition of what each of those um, terms mean on the left hand column so that it's a dummy proof but if you look the visits the visits are the number of visits to your site and we track these because we can correlate our visits to our website a lot of times to the activity that we see in requests for RFIs so um, as you see our hits our website visits in April were um, up compared to February and March and we can kind of correlate to the activity that Mr. Ricketts has had um, with the projects he's been working. Page views, um, those, that's the number, total number of pages viewed. The repeated views of a single page are counted in that number. Then there's your average page duration, so the average time that they spend per visit. The percent of new, new visits, which those are going to be typically high for this because it was a new site. So um, we'll continue to look at those um, as we get further along into the the life of the website. Unique visits, again, are going to be number of unduplicated visitors to your website over the course of a specific time period. And then page visits is the average number of pages viewed during a visit to our site and repeated views of a single page are counted. Um, so when you compare these first four months of our buildlounds.com to four months of our old site, which would be August of 2012 to November to November 2012 of last year because we did not get Google Analytics on our old site until a little bit around this time last year. Um, but if you compare four our four first months of this website to four four months of our old site, we have increased the average visit duration of, of our website. Um, we've increased the number of pages viewed during a visit to the website and we've decreased the percentage of single page visits to our website. 
So that just gives you kind of um, some information on how our website, it actually acts as an additional employee um, to our organization. And so um, there's lots of ways that we are going to continue to up, um, use the content on our website and drive traffic there for the information um, of our audience. Another look at our Valdosta Lounge Prospector. This is our real estate site where our sites and buildings are listed. Wanted just to provide some information. It's been a while since we looked at it, but we currently have 48 users and those are all gonna be our local um, brokers. And then from those 48 users, there's a total of 88 properties, 35 of those are sites and 53 of those are buildings. Um, our business parks are located on there. Again, this is just a four month um, viewpoint of what um, that site has had from January to April for with the Lounge Prospector. Can you tell where this is coming from? You can. You, you look into it a little bit deeper. Um, so this is just the initial thing, but as you look into it deeper, you can find where they're, they're coming from. So as we look further into it, we can. Um, a real a big buzzword is SEO, search engine optimization. And so I just did it, had an experiment and decided, you know, let's look when you Google about Austin Lowndes County Industrial Authority, what Google links do we own? And so you'll see here that we own the first three sites that come up when you Google about Austin Lowndes County Industrial Authority. The first one is our website, obviously, and then your additional inf additional links that you're going to own are going to be um, some social media platforms. So we have our LinkedIn that comes up number two and our Facebook page that comes up number three. But this is great ways, ways for us to create, to use keywords, Google's keywords for our search whenever people are searching for Valdosta or Lowndes County that we continue to come up when they are looking. Um, and from here you'll see I wanted to show you a few of our the activity that we are having um, on these social media platforms. Um, again, this is going to looks like we've seen. I've presented this today, but it's information we are sharing with our audience um, on a larger, larger scale. Um, I've created. I've started a new campaign with Site of the Day. I'll post one or two sites a week um, from our prospector and link them back to our our website with the um, from the post give them a few information obviously on LinkedIn you know that there's a, it has a large influence a lot of site selectors and consultants are on LinkedIn and we're connected to them and so they it's another way to communicate and market to them our sites um, buildings what's going on in Valdosta um, additional information a few weeks ago was um, National Nurses Nurses Week and um, the hospital actually had their number from 2009 of the economic impact they make in Valdosta Lowndes County, which I thought was a great information piece of information to share so they know what economic development is in Valdosta and Lowndes County. That's LinkedIn. And then the same content is um, being posted on Facebook, which is going to be a, di a different demographic. This is going to be more of our local citizens um, actively engaged and so that we are spreading the word um, about what our organization does and contributes to our community. Um, so different pieces of information. Um, the Historical Society had a great um, post last week about um, today in history when Moody Air Force was um, 72 years ago put in, as a Lakeland Flatwoods project. So I thought that was a great piece of information and then also added um, you know, how their economic impact um, makes in our community. So that's some marketing and um, public relations. Um, I was able to um, work with Alan on additional projects and I went with him on some existing industry visits recently and from that have worked, um, started working